everyone, Stephanie Denman here from the Denman Homestead and I've got Alora, my daughter, and she is going to be helping me today working on baby shower um, gifts for our guests to take home with them. Uh, I kind of just thought of this on my own. I didn't, there, there's a little bit of inspiration from different things, but I wanted to put this together somehow for someone, you know, for everyone who comes to Lissa and Jake's baby shower tomorrow to take a little bit of something home and with them to remember their baby by and um, just a little thank you. So, I've got a couple different bunches of flowers that I picked up from our grocery store and I ordered online those little tubes that you get, um, I don't know, they, they look like little test tubes, but they're for they're for flowers and you fill them up with water and um, it keeps your flowers fresh. So I ordered a, a pack of 25. Yeah, a pack of 25. This is what they look like and they've got this little rubber stopper on the top with a hole in it and you just shove the little stem down in this tube, fill it with water and it keeps your flowers fresh. So I have this and I think this is what we're gonna, this is gonna be the fun thing about it. Okay. So you know the gardener and me could not resist this baby shower idea. Um, I saw these online when I was doing a little bit of research on what I wanted to do. And they come in these little packs. This is a, it looks like a little baby onesie, right? I don't know if you can see it. The little flex on the back of it. This is biodegradable paper with wildflower seeds in it. So you can just throw this on the ground somewhere, plant it in some soil, put it in your flower bed, and it sprouts flowers from this little baby onesie. And it says, thank you for helping our baby bloom. Plant this tag for wildflowers. So how cute is that? So we're gonna take this onesie, and I have a hole punch, I have some twine, I've got these flowers in these tubes, and we're gonna tie one of these to each of those little wild, um, to each of those little tubes with the flower in it, and so people can take a little flower home with them, and then plant this in their garden or their soil, their front yard, wherever, and it'll sprout some flowers. And every time they see them, they'll think of the baby. So that's going to be our baby shower um, party favor, and Alora's going to help me make it. So join us for that. I need you to help me. Fill these tubes with water. Can you do that for me? Do you want me to like fill it all the way to the top? Yeah, so look. Take the little cap off like this. But they have a hole on them, okay? Take this little. Yeah. So take your tube and just do this. It just needs a little bit, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put the cap back on it. And then we'll just take this basket and then just see if you can't set them up kind of straight so the water doesn't drip out. Okay. You think you can do that? Okay. All right. That's right. All right, in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these. Like this? Yep, yeah, perfect. And you may need to fill this up again you're going to run out probably. I'm going to take my hole punch and one of these and I'm just... That's okay. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. I'm going to take my hole punch and I'm just going to find like a blank space somewhere on this little onesie and punch a little hole in it. That way I can cut a piece of twine. Hmm. We will get that going. It's been a pretty, it's been a minute since I've uh, hosted a party. Um, I, I just, we haven't had an opportunity to host anything here at the house in a long time. And so... We don't even have Sunday lunches here. Yeah, That's so sad. hosting this baby shower, I was super excited to do that. And, and then I realized how much work goes into hosting, cleaning, and uh, you know, just 
if you're like if you're like me, you you just you make sure everything's perfect. Bree Bree's coming over later today. She's going to help me set up the balloons. Um, we're gonna blow up a bunch of balloons, and I'm gonna attempt to make some sort of balloon arrangement. So we'll see how that turns out. Okay. I'm gonna start with a, just a couple flowers per tube for now to make sure that I have enough to go around and then I'll fill them in as I go. I definitely want some baby's breath in with every... What's this? It's um, tiny little white flowers. Isn't that like that? This right here is baby's breath. Yeah. Grandma has some of those in here. Uh, I don't know. She said that she has uh, baby breast flowers. Oh, really? Yeah. We used to go pick them. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> um. Okay. Now, do you want to do the next project? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, I need you to take these here <laughs> and put strings through all the holes. And set them aside. Okay. Like loop de loop like this. Yeah, just stick them through the hole and set them aside. Yep. Exactly. What are these? Pets? Wildflowers. Like this, like tie it around. Oh, so you can like tie it like this, like where it shows the baby thing. Like, I think we're gonna have to do it like, like that. Tie it like this. No, because it'll just slide down. Tie it like what? So above this, above it. I'm probably gonna have to do this part, baby. But what you can do is you can see if once I hand these to you, if you can put in an extra flower in it. You want to try to shove some more flowers down in it? A yellow one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me show you the end result here. We've got a little bouquet of flowers here with our little test tube water. And I've tied with some twine the wild uh, flower seed card. That says, thank you for helping our baby bloom. And this will be in a basket on the table for our guests to take home um, as a little party favor and a thank you. So me and Laura are going to continue to work on these. And thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope this gives you a little bit of an inspiration for your next party that you're going to be hosting. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.